Hi, this is Jamie, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a moment to walk through my 2019 December album. Now, these are the foundation pages to this album. I have never done foundation pages before, and I have been doing a December album for years. And I gotta tell you, this has been creating a lot of inspiration and energy for me to do this album this year. I realize this is being posted on this YouTube channel after December has started, and we're just gonna have to be okay with that. That was not ideal. But I will tell you, and I mentioned this in the post that is connected and linked down below to this video if you're watching on YouTube, and that is I watch video tutorials all the time. And when it comes to December dailies, I don't mind that I'm watching something that someone has done in 2017 or 2018. So I sort of decided it's okay that I'm posting this late. Somebody will find some inspiration and just give me a thumbs up if you are one of those people who received a little bit of inspiration. So let's just get started here and I will just do the best I can to explain these pages in a sort of a brief format, and let's go. Okay, when you open this page up, I almost always have a sort of cover intro page. This time I opted for a tag, and the collection I'm using in this December album mostly comes from the Heidi Swap Winter Wonderland collection. So the pattern papers you're seeing, the transparencies, are part of my stash. If they're still out there, I will link them also in case you're interested. And I'll try to point out some things that aren't necessarily from that collection. I mean, like the trims are not and whatnot. Also, just as an overview, some of these pages are inspired by the Allie Edwards class that's called Product Play 3. It was her 2019 class that went along with her December Daily album. And so a lot of inspirations come from that. So I will link that class below as well. And again, I've never even done that. I've never taken a class before. And I really did appreciate having a little bit of insight and some direction. And it just, what it did more than anything is it just prompted some more ideas. I might have done sort of kind of exactly what was in the class, but very often it just, it opened up some other ideas creatively for me. And so I love taking classes for that fact. Okay. So the opening tag holds the date, and then when you open it up, um, there's gonna be a space for my reason why, and I just always kind of give a little blurb about where I am right now and why I do these albums every year. Page one is part of Product Play 3. This was Amy Gretchen's project, and I've fallen completely in love with Amy Gretchen now. I love her style, I love her work, and this was this is totally out of my comfort zone. It's totally out of my creative wheel. I don't typically do shaped pages, but I'm like, heck, I'm going to give it a try. And so you can watch as I also will be putting these together for you guys if you're interested to see how that happens as well. So this is page one. This is our day one. This is part of day one as well. When you flip this over, there's another page here that's part of, I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. Here we go. There's another page here that's part of Product Play 3 as well. I really liked having this because it's a thankful little accordion. And this has been a huge theme of mine already this fall, all of fall, not just November, but all of fall. So to have this part of my December book was completely consistent with how I'm doing life right now. So I loved having this in there and you can see okay. it. Day three is a plastic craft page, pretty heavy duty. And then some hexagon work also from the product play class. And then I went ahead and added a three by four pocket page because I know that day three is going to be a look around my home. I like to record how I've decorated my home. I'm, I'm super minimalist anymore about decorating for Christmas, but I still like to have it featured in my book. So I know that's what's gonna happen there. This was something that was, this tag here was inspired by a Allie Edwards December Daily. I wanna say it's 2017, but it could have been 18. I can't quite remember. I loved this idea. She didn't include it in this class. And I'm sorry, she didn't include it in this year's book. But I think going forward, I might want to do this. So 
I have my husband's name and then everybody in our family has their name on the front. And what I did, I just cut out a hexagon shape from cardstock and I sewed it to the tag. And I, before I did that, I typed everyone's name on their own tag. And then when you flip it over, it's name, age, currently into, holiday drink of choice, most wanted gift, and best memory of the past year. So I hope everyone plays nice with me and will fill out their cards because I think that would be awesome to have in the future. Okay, day four is a four pocket page protector. And I just added some clear stickers here. This is old stash right here. And then I just added where the journaling is going to be. And, and my stickers don't want to stay on here very well. I might need to go back and do something different with that. We'll see how this happens. It's a fun thing about going back through your book. You realize what's going to work and what's not. So that story is yet to be told. This is a layout from, um, it's called Hexagon 7 Digital Kit by Soco, S-O-C-O. And I just went and started looking for different hexagon layouts and ideas. And I saw this digital kit and I decided to go ahead and pick it up. You can see that this page is kind of, it's a vellum page. So this is cardstock. And I also want to make a note here real quick. Some of the cardstock you're seeing, I switched cardstock in mid book. I've been using this particular cardstock right here. It's by American Craft. And then I switched to Basil White. And I'm saying that because I'm just a huge fan of Basil White. This particular white heavy cardstock from American Craft has a bit of a gray hue to it. And I love gray. If you know me at all, I'm a fan of gray. The Basil White is a little more creamy. I just like the way it plays against photos and against colors. And so, I don't know if this is going to pick up in the video, but this is pretty gray. Whereas you're going to see when I get to those pages that that's going to, that hue is going to change a little bit. As a matter of fact, this might be one here. Yeah, that's the basil right there. It's my new favorite cardstock. I've even had questions about that cardstock. And so I'm super happy to kind of promote it. And then again, you link below if you're interested in trying it out for yourself. So uh, these hexagons are adhered to this cutout. There's a cutout page back behind here. It's cut out in a hexagon shape, obviously. And so I backed it with vellum. So these are lifted a little bit. And so you can just kind of see underneath it, but it's, I don't know, it's just got a really great look. Maybe I should have processed video that because when it was done, I'm like, oh, I kind of like that. And so photo will go here and then I'll cover this probably with cardstock and add the rest of that story here. This is a simple day six, just super open to some kind of layout or photo layout. Uh, wasn't too hard pressed exactly what's going to happen on this page. And that kind of happens. That was the hard thing about doing foundation pages. Well, I don't know what the story is going to be. And I was learning and I kind of had to learn quick to be okay with that. And so that was a sort of a fun process for me to work through. And it's a kind of a creative exercise of be okay with not knowing for sure how something's going to work out. So just a little note about that. Another one of those tags that I talked about. Day seven, I have already designated what day seven is going to be. And I have on here movies. And this is, I believe, is a Saturday. I think the seventh is a Saturday because we do a traditional movie night on Saturday nights. We have a whole tradition on Saturday nights, what our family does. And so I wanted to make sure I gave this story and I also listed what movies we were going to watch and why and just whatever that story became. So that was day seven. Day eight is this pocket page. And so I used the Winter Wonderland for the stars. I'm looking at it now, I might have probably done this a little bit different. Again, you know, you just have to do a thing and walk away and realize, you know what? Good is good. Day nine is super fun. I just took to cutting up a whole bunch of hexacons with the Winter Wonderland pattern paper. This nine is from Pattern Play from Allie Edwards. I popped up a, a couple of hearts right here in red. Uh, this is all about making your own embellishments. So I needed a red heart, didn't have one. I just used cardstock and then popped them up. It's, you can't tell here maybe, but it's got a lot of dimension. 
And this star, I have glitter paper that I'm sticking with throughout this book. And you can see I have some glitter stars over here. So I wanted these guys to kind of play against each other a little bit and have a little bit of congruency. So these blanks on the hexacons are going to be photos. Pretty much already know what the story is going to be also. I have, through the years, a handful, if not more, stories that I add to my book every year. So you know the ninth is, I believe it's a Monday. More than likely, Monday is just routine around here. It's back to school after a busy weekend. It's me getting back to work. It's my husband getting back to work. It's after school activities, but it's just, there's nothing like extra special. So those days that I know, uh, there might not be a huge significant story coming out of that day. I pre-designate those pages. So I know what this is going to be about already. And I'll probably be adding a journal card in here to fill out the story, to have a place for my story. Day 10 is from Product Play 3. It's also pretty self-explanatory. And then I love this prompt here. I added in the numbers. It's from a Bella Boulevard Tiny Text. I went to look and see if that was still available. I haven't found them yet. It's an, it's an old 12 by 12 alpha sheet that I have stashed away. I'm looking forward to filling this out and this 10 things I'm loving right now. Uh, I think this ties right back into gratitude. So I am all on board for that. Um, I have just sort of designated pay, uh, day 11 here. It's not very specific. I have an idea. It might be my wrapping paper as I am still on the hunt for my wrapping paper. Please tell me I'm not alone. Day 12 is a square piece of cardstock and 13 will be on the other side. So that just gives way to just sort of a traditional layout. Day 14 is a work in progress. I started putting this clear 12 pocket page protector together and I'm not terribly happy with it. So this is a page that is, I consider to still be in progress and I'll be going back and tweaking that some. Day 15 has already been designated as day 15. I don't have a number on it to mark it yet, but this was also a project from Product Play. Again, it's something I would never have done on my own and thought to do on my own. So I had a lot of fun putting this page together and it's not quite adhered down because it's I haven't done this story yet. So I don't know exactly what that's going to look like. So it's in a holding pattern right now. Another tag. And then this is going to be day 16 and this is a space for a photo and this is the journaling. I have several of these plastic craft pages throughout this, this December album and here's another one. And I discovered and really loved the idea of using these gold puffy stickers that are from Heidi Swap's Color Fresh collection. I think they just go so perfectly with the whole vibe that's happening here in my album and especially even up against the Winter Wonderland patterns. So that's where this is from here. And so this is just waiting for a story to be told on that page. Now 18 and 19 are a page projector. Again, pretty open to whatever story is going to happen there. This was actually the first page I did this year, and this is day 20. And the reason there is already a photo inside of here, let me lift up, and I'm not sure I'm going to keep this either. I, I kind of messed it up and it doesn't look awesome, so I, I will probably actually just go ahead and take that out. What do you know? And um, so everyone's going to be home on the 20th. And so more than likely we will definitely have an actual real family photo. This is from last year. So I just was playing around with that and what that was going to look like. And then I added in this, I need to attach this paper in here better, but I have a hidden journaling piece in here that slides in and out of this paper. Can you see how that's going? So I created a pocket and I gave the pocket parameters so it wouldn't go too far in. So this page is definitely going to be a family story page. And so that happened pretty early on in sort of, it sort of set the tone for the rest of the book. And I, I, it ebbed and flowed. You see, I just took out, I think I like that better to have that one taken out. Cause then there is that overlay right there. And I just picked up this overlay. I think this is from American Craft. So I will go try and find that one again and post that for you, a link for that. 
And then 21 is a tag that I printed from a Carrie Bradford digital collection and I made it super big. It's kind of a tag idea. I don't know if I'll still maybe add ribbon up here or not. And then photo story will be on this side. Page 22 is from Product Play. It's pretty self-explanatory. I use vellum and gave them a shadow sort of a look there. This is some old stash here. You probably won't find this striped vellum, but you can do this with anything. And I believe this is a Bella Boulevard transparency. Bella Boulevard has the best transparencies and I don't know what's still available out there, but this was a lot of fun to have that. And then I have here for 23 and probably even 24. 24 tends to be a pretty big story for us, just the kind of the traditions we have in place for Sept I'm sorry, December 24th. So that's more than likely, I have that set there. I don't quite know where that's gonna go yet, and that's okay, because that'll be at the end of the season. I'll have a little more time to kind of play with that. And right here, you're getting a huge sneak peek at a project that's gonna be posted here super soon. And then this is going to be December 25th, and this is gonna open up with lots of opportunities for all kinds of photos. If I wanna do a huge photo lay, if I wanna do a collage of photos, if all my photos are here and my story's here, I don't know. This is just going to be super left open. Uh, it's a pretty important day. Just a lot of things happen on the 25th. So again, sort of an open look at that. And that is a look at these foundation pages. I will do my best to link every product I possibly can down below in case you are still looking for a certain direction to go with your December album, if you haven't got it all put together, if you're still looking for a class to take, I would, I highly recommend the Product Play 3. That was a lot of fun. And then the Winter Wonderland is a beautiful collection to make happen in your December album as well. So uh, if you don't already, would you please subscribe to this channel? I'd love to know that you're watching and leave a comment and let me know if you have any questions and I will see you here next time.